guys, and welcome back! John Wick Chapter 2 was once again directed by Chad Stahelski. It stars Keanu Reeves, Ricardo Scamarcio, and Ian McShane. John Wick returns to the criminal underworld to repay a debt, only to be portrayed, setting him down a bloody path. Seriously, leave this man alone. How hard is that? Apparently it's like pulling teeth. Good. An octopus. Starting off with the positives, as usual. Again, the action was off the charts. I think even more so than the last. There was probably more body count in this. But I could be wrong. There was so much going on, and it just seems like it was even more than what the first one did. Keanu Reeves returns once again for John Wick as one kick-ass performance. He was more focused in this. You know, in the first one, he was a little off his game because he got caught off guard and it was like a four or five year gap. But with this one, I think it starts like maybe a day after the first one ended. So he's more focused. He's more content on what he's got to do. This man's hand keeps on being forced. And it's not his fault either. He just keeps on getting dragged back in. And like that saying goes, The past will come back to bite you in the ass. And apparently... It does with him a lot. Keanu Reeves is a force to be reckoned with. He, he gives a very deep performance. He's very committed. There's nobody else better suited for this part. Tell them. Tell them all. Whoever comes, whoever it is, I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. From what I understand, Keanu Reeves prepared for three months before cameras started rolling. He trained in Judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, marksmanship, and driving. Yeah, let's just say he was that committed. Not only the, was the character committed to what he was doing, but the actor was definitely committed. And that's what makes a good actor. Commitment for all you future actors. Commitment. Of course, like the last one, he did 90% of stunt work in that one. He did 95%, he upped it, 95% of his own stunt work in this one, except for like two scenes, held nothing back. Ian McShane plays Winston. He was in the first one, I didn't mention him because he had a little small role in that, but he was in this one a little more. He plays Winston, the Continental Manager, and he's the type of guy that's like, you got to follow the rules. Two rules that cannot be broken, Jonathan. No blood on continental grounds, and every marker must be honored. I really do respect that, because he's a man with a code. Ian McShane, I've always thought he was a great actor. The first thing I've seen him in was Pirates of the Caribbean on the Stranger of Tides, where he played Blackbeard, the villain in that. And he was really excellent in that, too. And ever since then, I've just seen him more and more. I know he was in a series called Deadwood, which I've never seen, though. Ricardo, with two C's, plays Santino D'Antonio, the main villain of this film. He was pretty decent, although I did find him a little babyish. He kind of reminded me of a little child. If he didn't get his way, then... But that's not a complaint. I'm not faulting him completely. I thought he was a decent enough villain, but he wasn't as strong as the father figure in the first one. They threw it into the story to where Antonio, the villain for this, helped John Wick with his impossible task that they mentioned in the first on how he got out right around the time when he met his wife years ago. And that's the reason why the villain wants him to settle this debt. If not for what I did on the night of your impossible task, you wouldn't be here right now like this. This is because of me. This in part is mine. Of course, he didn't have to betray him, but a villain would be villains. <laughs> Dan Lewis's cinematography and lighting work was just great. Like the first one, it, it was gothy. It was crystal clear. There's a scene by the third act, I won't give anything away, but it involved mirrors. It was a reflections of the soul. There's like a lot of stuff that was going on, but it was so bright. It was so clear. The design of it, 
It was mesmerizing. I don't even think I've seen anything close to that in any movie until this came out. But it was done really well. It was very beautifully choreographed. The score was great. It was done by the same guys that scored the, the first one. And like the first one, they had their own score for the type of story it was telling. They just added a certain score for the villain himself. But everything else was about the same, just like how it was in the first. The only negatives about this I have, there's only one negative, is the story. Though there's a wise choice with the direction of this, but the story wasn't as emotionally driven as the first one. Now I know what you're thinking. The sequel can never really triumph over the original, because the original is that original. You can't really beat it. But the story could have had a little bit of an improvement. They could have thrown a little bit more of an emotional tone, other than what the villain did to John Wake at the beginning. But it's nothing compared to what the thugs did at the beginning of the first one. That right there brought up all sorts of emotions for me. John Wake Chapter 2 was still a really great action film. It was a good sequel, but nothing held back. There's great actors. We get rapper Common, who shows off his acting style, and I thought he did a really good job. Ruby Rose, who also did a good job as one of the villains. You even get a Matrix reunion by having Lawrence Fishburne in this film. Somebody please get this man a gun. Everything in this movie, other than the story, which was a little weak, perfect. It does not disappoint. There's still plenty of action to be had for all you action junkies. I know I say that all the time, but I love saying it. Because, hey, I won too. Be proud. <laughs> John Wick Chapter 2 gets an A. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. Tell your friends. What did you think of John Wick Chapter 2? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me that comment down below. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. My review for John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum should be out as soon as I can get it out. Should be out by either Saturday night or Sunday. I don't know. I'm planning on seeing that with a bunch of friends. Otherwise, I would go see it early so I can get the review out. So I do apologize in advance for that. But watch out for it. It is coming no matter what. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. And if you like this, you can click right here and get repeatized.